hotel room. The family's asleep. I'm about to go to a training session at Planet Fitness. So let me show you guys my morning routine, no matter what. Water. I don't have any filtered water. We didn't have a chance to go to the store. Oh, we're gonna try some. There we go. So today I'm training fasted. I'm gonna do some performance fasting today. Performancefastingdiet.com. This is nectar. So I put all my supplements in bags. So that way it takes up least, less space on the, the, in the suitcase. Machine greens, as you can probably tell. Scoop. He is for health. It's always, always something you have to pay attention to. When you're traveling, when you're on vacation, you always have to take care of your health. These supplements absolutely help keep me healthy. There's no doubt about it. So then, I don't have natural anything, so just some Himalayan sea salt. Salt is an electrolyte. Sea salt has more than just sodium in it. It helps keep you, helps keep you hydrated, right? So, uh, Nutrition Happy Guts, MTS Nutrition Vega D3, all right, a couple allergy pills, all right, that forming. It's not like eating, but I'm gonna take it now. Take two for later in the day. Nutrient driver. I have a supply over here, by the way. That was a brand new one. Four for use of my meals. Thyroid prescribed. Hormone health and wellness, my doctor. And um, oh, I'm bored. Best vitamin pack in the game. There you go. So I have this handy case container it makes it so easy so if you want to get healthy you got to think about doing shit like this i'm actually driving to a planet fitness down in my old stomping grounds vingwood california just uh past randy's donuts and all the good old places man but uh what's great is that it's like i never left here i totally know the streets i mean obviously some things have changed but it's still old and shitty the way it was when i lived here back in the 90s <laughs> So, yeah, L.A., St Inglewood's still Inglewood, man. I mean, they've gentrified some of it, but some of it, yep, still a shithole. But I miss it, man. That's my home. Inglewood. I wanted to just give a quick shout-out to Ryan Buckeye at Fit Butters Fitness Informant. Um, he's at the NPC Twin Cities show, NPC show today. 
And we have a thing where, you know, I go around and I help promote his Fit Butters because they're awesome. And he also does the same for Outright Bars at local shows and stopping by retail stores. And I just want to show my gratitude towards him, not only as a friend, but as a professional. This is how things used to get done. We collaborate with like-minded people. And I'll tell you what, Ryan, his family, everyone around him that he surrounds himself with are really good people. I just wanted to show my gratitude towards Ryan, not only for his friendship, but also for our working relationship. And Ryan, I appreciate everything you've done for me, man. What a way to start the day. Hey man, I'm gonna set off every fucking luck alarm in this bitch, just kidding. Can't wait. Hell yeah, 25 reps done so far. Start off 50 reps of pull-ups. It's my new back day thing. I'm gonna start doing it most every day. I need a bigger back, I'm tired of this. So every Plant Fitness has one of these. It's a row machine. It's one of the best, smoothest row machines. I've ever used Life Fitness. Again, I can't, you guys know I'm strong as shit. I can't stack it. So if I can't stack it, you can't stack it. So again, man, if you got 20 bucks a month, you go to any fucking Planet Fitness in the goddamn world. There's like thousands of them. Why wouldn't you? Case in point, dumbbell rows. Those are mine. I only go up to 50 pounds. Perfect form, perfect squeeze, eight to 10 reps. I'm gonna do about four sets of those. Then move on. Next up is pull down, lat pull down. Full back workout at Planet Fitness. I'm showing you how to construct a back workout at Planet Fitness. If you wanna take it, that's fine. If not, that's fine. A lot of y'all who travel, a lot of you guys follow me. My average age of my followers is 25 to 45. A lot of y'all make over 60, 70K a year. You have kids. I know a lot of y'all travel a lot for your job. So this is for you, shout out. Shout out to the 25 to 45 working day. These seated low rows. Four sets, eight to 12 reps. Lightweight, just going for the squeeze. Pretty deep into the workout here. Done a lot of reps, a lot of sets. But again, man, I'm not, not gonna obviously can't deadlift afterwards, right? Unless I do a Smith machine. So, which I think that's one of my favorite thickness exercises. You face away from that pull down machine. Pull it down behind your neck. It mimics a rear double by. Um, I've already done so many pulling between pull downs uh, and the uh, pull ups that I'm gonna do something a little different here. Um, if you want, you can check out my back thickness video I did last month for how to do this. This is actually a really fucking good machine. Grab the under handles, mimics a DY row. Okay, come on Thomas, get your... You weren't like playing. Yeah, I didn't get any of that. I think he was looking, making sure he still had one. <laughs> so check it out. These are donut holes. Donut holes are the secret to gains. It's a concentrated donut. And I got like 80 of them for like six bucks at Bonds. Bonds. Donut hole reaction. Oh, Preston put the whole thing in his mouth. Preston put the whole balls in his mouth. <laughs> Why do you like your donut hole? I'm good. Okay, I'm you're going to eat 70 of those a day, Thomas. Look how shredded this kid is. Look how broad his shoulders are getting, bro. Dude, he got delts. Are you seeing this? Yeah, Dude, you are, you are jacked. Give me a back pose. Hold on, stand away from the light. Away from the light. Go this way. Go this way. Ah! What you do them? No. Where are you going? There, that's good. That's good. Okay, now fan, here you go. Fan it out. Oh no, no, break, don't, don't, don't squeeze it together. Kind of spread your scapula. Pull it apart. There you go. Pull, boom, boom, but just flex. Yeah. Boom. Oh yeah. Keep chewing. <laughs> that's how you make gains. Yeah, he's Grab stacking it. I was gonna say this in the car, but I called Katie instead. Check it out. The thing I love about California is that you can go from. $3 million high rise, like, like not even high rise, $3 million. We're paying $3 million for an apartment in the high rise to the absolute slums in less than two minutes drive time. I did that three times in a 10 minute drive. I went from hood to good three times. Good. <laughs> Dude, like I, like I just posted my TikTok. Like I said, motherfuckers locking up body lotion here, but they leave the cough medicine out. They used to lock up the cough medicine because motherfuckers are making meth out of it. But now, you have to show an ID, I think, when you buy it. That's fine, yeah. but they steal it. So why are you showing ID? I'm like, so I asked the dude at the front. I'm like, y'all lock up lotion. The guy who unlocked, y'all lock up lotion. They keep stealing it. I'm like, okay. Well, they, I guess people don't want to be ashy. I'm good. I don't want to be ashy. I just bought some. So I, I usually get coconut, but I wanted to get one that I could travel with. So I got um, got some Lubriderm to lube. One second. Yo, so here we are in Cali. I'm at Uncle Tom's house. 
That's right. Tom, my brother-in-law, is their uncle. He's an Uncle Tom. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just think that's fucking funny. Anyway, so we're swimming here. Um, <laughs> so we're up in Cali. Going to enjoy the demo. Spray on some suntan lotion on my cancer having ass. We're going to have a good time. My brother-in-law there cooked up. This, this chicken is amazing, bro. What did you marinate this in? Cuban mojo. Cuban mojo? Can you buy that in a store or did Barbie make it? it she, uh, yeah, she buys it's uh, Goya. Goya? Mojo. Mojo. I think that just means marinated Spanish. Look at that. Oh, man, this is delicious. Del this is, seriously, man, this is some of the most delicious chicken. He cooked it perfect internal temperature. Good job, baby girl. Good job. I'm trying to eat you. What are you doing? Probably. I'm trying to bite you. Probably. Okay, you trying to bite her fall backwards, okay? You trying to bite me? Well, she's biting me again. <laughs> <laughs> she's not gonna, she won't actually sink her teeth. She's not gonna gnaw into you. Oh, she will bite you. Can you hungry? Oh. We currently have about 30 varieties of the big O bar and the outright bar. Now here's what's really awesome is that we have so many flavors, sometimes even we forget how many flavors we have. We forget to eat the flavors we love. So we're gonna go over our personal favorites and tell you why they're our favorites every day until we're out of flavors is what it comes down to. So I'm gonna start with the all time repeat by leader that you would never guess goes together. We launched this, it was supposed to be a special flavor for the Thanksgiving holiday time. But we ended up keeping it because the reviews were so positive, and that is the white chocolate cranberry. Now, the white chocolate cranberry, it just goes so well together. You can see in here, you got the rolled oats, the white chocolate, the cranberries. It is so delicious. It hits all areas of your taste buds. And in my opinion, this is just the one that I'm going to roll with 90% of the time. I mean, that is my favorite bar of all time, but I got my second favorite right here, the banana walnut peanut butter. Look at this. That soft texture. Oh, look at that nut. That's a big nut right there, bro. Why are you looking at my nut? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good looking nut. Mm. It is. That one, the thing about the banana walnut is it hits like banana bread to me. Yeah. It hits like banana bread, brings back some good nostalgic memories. Ruckus, what's your flavor? Favorite flavor? Right, right. can't eat chocolate chips, so I think I'll have some of that banana walnut. Ruckus is really excited. Anyway, what are your favorite Outright Bar flavors? Comment down below, but honestly, if you haven't tried, if you haven't tried the white chocolate cranberry, we sampled this at the convention we were at in Florida where I spoke, the Uberzati convention, mm -hmm. and we had Cookies and Cream, which is our best seller of all time, and this, which is not our best seller, but it's our best repeat buy flavor, and this one, we had the same amount of boxes, these went faster than the cookies and cream by probably double. I'm not surprised. Once you try this, you will try it again and again and again. Those are our favorite Outright Bars for today. Comment down below with your favorite.